You say deep blue sea, and I say barbed wire. You say biker boys, and I say evil bong. And you say dark tower, and I say pro wrestlers. You say freestyle, and I say AVP. And I say brain scan, and you say howling too. And I say postal, and you say. <laughs> Oh, 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 God. Uh, okay, uh, before Nathan uh, retches all over the stage and ruins this beautiful linen, uh, we just have to say, welcome! Yes, welcome to the third annual What Were They Thinking Manos Handouts. <laughs> yes, we're here at the beautiful What Were They Thinking studios. The stars are out. They are out. They are not in the sky. However, they are here this evening for your pleasure as we once again celebrate the failures and triumphs of Schlocky Wood. <laughs> Schlocky Wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nathan, I gotta say, you are dressed to the nines. Yes, and uh, actually almost to the tens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you have a, a bunch of uh, just cotton nines on your suit. I'm not sure what you're uh, referencing, but I like it. Well, actually, this is the show. that On this side, I got three of them, and that's, I mean, it's, that's a triple nine uh, coming soon. Uh, also, I have these nines down here on my wheelie shoes to show that I'm rolling with the nines. Also, possibly coming soon. <laughs> We're just this this whole award show is just going to be a bunch of coming soon. <laughs> well, no, just the uh, I like to be forward thinking with my fashion choices, and the best way to do that is to have a bunch of nines to represent movies that have nines in them. Uh, you know, for future broadcasts. That sounds perfect to me. And I must say that your evening gown is quite stunning. Well, thank you. Um, you know, uh, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gendering my uh, my stuff that I'm wearing, and I am wearing an evening gown. So I'm glad you pointed it out. Is that a a, a Vera Wang? <laughs> you said Wang. I was gonna say if it is, you should tuck it in because it's showing. Oh, uh, or you should see Mariah try to wear this. <laughs> oh, 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 you're going to have to roll that prompter a little faster there, Jimmy. Thank you. Okay. Nathan, mm-hmm. you are Nathan, I as am you Nathan. said. Yep. I am Brendan. And this is very. This is a very special night. We are giving out many awards tonight, or I guess most of them you could call demerits. Well, you know, I feel to- some of them might actually be badges of honor, depending on the person. This is true. But uh, we're going to get into this. So with these, this is the awards night. Uh, wh- let's let's get right into it, Nathan. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring out our first presenter. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, presenting the Dead Fish Eyes Award, ladies and gentlemen, Gilbert Gottfried. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is my honor to present the Dead Fish Eyes Award. As you can see... My eyes do not open. Okay, here we go. And the nominees are Taylor Lautner for Tracers. No idea. Freddie Prinze Jr. Wing Commander. Got nothing. The Shark in Deep Blue Sea. There we go. And Megan Fox... In Jonah Hex. Let me just see here. And the winner is... Megan Fox in Jonah Hex. Oh, like, hi and, and things. You know, Mike, Michael Bay is a Nazi, and it's really great to receive oh, this award. Mm. Uh, yeah, so... I don't think that's going to have any ramifications on my career in any way. Uh, I'm just going to go uh, Michael Bay works Nathan closely Nathan. with Steven Spielberg. And so, yeah, that, that doesn't matter. He's still a Nazi. I'm just going to say that and walk away. Oh, Thanks, everybody. I, th- I thought I had the prettiest eyes, too. Bye. 
Oh boy. Well, Oof. congratulations. I don't I don't think she understood what that um category was all about. I yeah, I don't believe so. Um Oh boy. <laughs> that uh, that Michael those Michael Bay comments won't bite her in the ass. No, no, it'll be fine. It'll, it'll, it'll be perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah. I mean if if Jonah Hex is any indication of what's to come from Megan Fox. Oh, just shooting through the stratosphere that career of hers. We can expect great things, yeah. I think. Yeah. And, you know, if she keeps dating people like Brian Austin Green, I mean, her career is only going to skyrocket further. Right? She'll be living in the most exclusive zip code, that's for sure. Well, our next presenter, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is going to present the Most Unnecessary Explosions Award. And that presenter is, of course, I mean, someone we just talked about, so I'm a little nervous after what was just said, but um, the Master of Explosions himself... Michael Bay. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably gonna do is I am. I'm gonna talk to a lawyer, and I'm gonna possibly make a few explosions and make a few blow ups. It's gonna make her career. It's not gonna blow up. It's gonna implode. Implode. That's what's gonna happen to her career. But what you know? What when you know what, you know what didn't implode? These movies. These movies were great because they had some fantastic uh, explosions in it. Uh, so uh, just gonna get to the nominees. Gonna get to the nominees right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> a little little keyed up. Little keyed up. Um. So yeah. Uh, Jonah Hex, uh, and that's the title. So, yeah, not a star. So, Jonah Hex, Jonah Hex, Jonah Hex. Uh, also, Barb Wire, again, a, a, a name, but it's also the title. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of neat. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah, Jonah Barb Wire. Um, and then, and then finally, eight, uh, eight, 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 eight legged freaks. Eight legged freaks. I'm kind of it getting kind of itchy just talking about that. So, I'm just going to take a look here to see who the winner is. The winner is, and now. <sighs> And uh, <laughs> yeah, the winner is, hey, it's Eight Legged Freaks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who's accepting, but it's an award. Come get it, someone. Spiders aren't fake. Thank you for this award. Um, my name is David Arquette. Uh, I, uh, I, I don't know what I had to do with the explosions, but spiders aren't fake. I want you to know that. They're real to me, damn it. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that spiders aren't fake? Yeah, yeah, David, we knew that. Spiders are not fake. Mm -hmm. They're spiders are not predetermined. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is fake? Mm -hmm. Earwigs. Thank you. I've been David Arquette. Uh, all right, David mm. Arquette, ladies and gentlemen, friend of the podcast, friend of the podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, not anymore. I don't know. <laughs> oh, so man. So many great people out here in the crowd, right? I mean, oh. it's 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 nice to see some of the some of the old faces here. Uh, I see Ishiro Takahashi are here. Hey guys, those old so and sos. Yeah, yeah, we love your movies. You guys are great. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, that's great. Oh, Mother Superior has her own uh, press box in oh. the back there. That's great. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's and and she's beating Harold Ramis's lawyer. <laughs> oh, oh, still. <laughs> oh, good times. Good good times. Huh. Uh, oh, no, uh, no, um, no, no. He's no. David Hasselhoff has to leave. Okay, well, no. Yeah, he, he he brought he no he brought food in from outside. That's that's not okay. Oh, oh, he's on the floor, Nathan. He's he's making out with that cheeseburger again. Oh, again. somebody get him out of here. He's get him a towel or Where, something. Where's, where's his daughters when we need? Oh, them? Geez. I mean, oh they're they're the ones recording it. Oh, oh you're not God. helping. You're not helping. Uh, All let's, right, oh, let's move along. Let's just let's wrap him up in a carpet yeah, and send him okay. outside. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, let's critically going to move on from that. Uh, <laughs> well, this is kind of related to our last category, is it not? It is. It is. It has to do with actually uh, the worst visual effects uh, in mm -hmm. a movie. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, presenting uh, for worst visual effects is a star from one of our movies from this past year. Ladies and gentlemen, Edward Furlong. Oh, my God. Like... <laughs> This is a. Cr I'm under a lot of stress right now because like I don't have a movie and like brain scan was like a long time ago. Guys, are you sure I can do this? Like this is crazy. You can do it. Eddie. Is, you can do this it. Is, we got, yeah. This is. This is. 
Like, are you are you saying that uh, moi am I a dumb shit? Like, is that what is that what's going on? No, no, no. You're you're good. You're good. That's why you're presenting. You're good. Okay. What's the what is it again? Best visual effects? It's the worst, worst visual effects. Worst visual effects. Okay. All right. I, I do. I just gotta. I just gotta read that. Yeah. Yeah. Just just read the uh, read the nominees and then open the okay. Envelope. Is it, it like is there like a dog I can make eye contact with? Because I'm always more comfortable when I'm talking to a dog, like a full on conversation. Just, just if you just look, if you just look to the back of the room, real quick, okay, to the back of the room, there we there is a dog back. There. <gasps> a see doggy. Him? You see him? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah. just, just talk to him. You'll be good. You'll okay, just, just talk to him. okay, okay, buddy. So these are the nominees for worst visual effects. Okay, boy. Or is it girl? Oh my god, did I just call him a girl? Boy, it's a girl. Oh my god, did I mess up? Okay, it's a boy. Good. Uh, okay, so buddy, the nominees for worst visual effects are Jonah Hex. Um, oh, that's doing good tonight. Eight-Legged Freaks. Uh, Howling 2, Your Sister is a Werewolf. Postal. <clears throat> oh, I don't know why that happened. And uh, Wing Commander. Uh, and the winner is... Um, Oh god. Uh it's not coming up on the prompter. Okay. Okay. Open open the envelope. It's okay. Oh okay. The winner is uh Wing Commander. Congratulations. I don't know who's coming up. AMD uh French actor who played the German. I'm just here to say that I know the film was bullshit. But, uh, you know, it, I had a good time meeting Matthew Lillard and, uh, you know, that Prince Jr. guy. He was solid. Um, with, uh, I mean, it's not, it's, it's just worse than the Bad Boys, which I was also in. But, you know, I still, it didn't, I, I, I got to act with, with, mannequins that were supposed to be puppets so you know bucket list and everything thank you for this garbage award well very good very good wing commander uh very um yes that absolutely those puppets were horrendous just, just the worst oh my god oh the, the worst puppets but worse than the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, th like, three puppets. Yes, because... And those were terrible. Well, they were pretty awful, but at least they had points of articulation, which mm -hmm. I did not find those ones had in Wing Commander. No, and considering they were the main villains in the video games, and we saw them in the movie for mm, five minutes, roughly? Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. And they're the antagonists of the <laughs> film. <laughs> Uh, so moving right along, footloose and fancy free, as they say, uh, we're coming up on a category here for the most disturbing line or scene, and who better to introduce this category, or to, to introduce the nominees, than a very, um, odd man indeed, ladies and gentlemen, famed film director, Mr. Tim Burton. Hey, <laughs> um, yeah, uh. I like weird things. Uh, yeah, my hair looks like this on purpose. What do you? It's a. I know it's a podcast. I don't care if it's a visual gag. Whatever. Uh so the uh, the nominees here for the, uh, the most disturbing line or scene. I like disturbing scenes. Uh we got uh, Edward Furlong for just being in Brain Scan. In general, he he's, he's, he gets nominated for that. Uh, we got we got we got Grandpa talking about banging his his new wife, who is obscenely old in that movie Evil Bong. Uh, not to be outdone, the delivery scene in Evil Bong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these really aren't that dark for me. I mean, oh, we got Taylor Lautner's sexy dancing from Tracers, and uh, <laughs> oh, oh, this one's actually legitimately disturbing because I have to think about Jamie Lee Curtis and Tim Allen having sex. It's uh, it's not even Saturday night from Christmas with the Cranks. Uh, bonkers, bonkers stuff. Uh, uh, Shelly Long, uh, that time she made out with a guy in front of a bunch of little kids from 
Troop Beverly Hills. But the the kids, they they had to live up to it too because they distributed pornography to the elderly in the same movie. I mean, that's that's all kinds of disturbing. Although I don't think you guys understand the kind of dark that I usually go with. Ah, uh, we got big rape. That's that sounds that sounds disturbing just in general from. Uh, 2019, after the fall in New York, did, is that a news story or something? Hey, uh, a carrot top uh, wanting to fuck farm animals. What kind of movies do you guys watch? Uh, and then finally, cockroaches and rotting food from Joe's apartment. That one's actually kind of right up there. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna open the uh, open the envelope here, and the winner is. Cockroaches and rotting food from Joe's apartment. Hey, thank you, thank you. Hey, I'm one of the cockroaches from Joe's apartment. Hey, yeah, that's great. Uh, it's honor. I'm going to accept this award because, hey, Jerry O'Connell ain't showing up. <laughs> anyway, uh, you guys got any grub? Uh, no. Uh, no, no, God, no. No. Uh, I'm, I'm calling the orchid man, Brendan. Hey, yo, don't do that. Ah, we're out. <laughs> Ooh, oh goodness. God! I can't. Be- oh, I can't believe they showed up. Ooh, yes. ooh, ooh. And they brought that sandwich with them too. Was, did you find it weird that they were using it like a puppet? Uh, okay. uh, All right, uh, we're just gonna move on. Gonna move I on. didn't. I could. I didn't see any strings. That's what. That's what. That's the weirdest part. I think. Well, it's because they were just like bobbing it up and down to make it look like it was talking. They were inside it, moving it up and down like a mouth flap. Oh, oh. Mm. Okay. Good to, again, we're mo- moving on, moving on. Yeah, yeah, yes, please, right. please, uh, please. Up next is uh, the Paycheck Award. Uh, what with, does that mean, Nathan? Well, that's, a, that's an award doled out to guys who obviously took that gig just so they could, you know, get a nice house. We should, actually might want to reconsider naming that one the, uh, uh, the Michael Caine Award. Uh, for Jaws Four, <laughs> yes, the Michael Caine Jaws Four award is the right is the correct name. That should yeah. Uh, and presenting this award is a person who knows all about taking money and not doing a good job at all. Ladies and gentlemen, President of the United States Donald J. Trump. Ba 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 da ba ba da. Where's my orchestra? We, we couldn't afford that because you're disgusting. <sighs> La da 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 da. What do I have to do? Just read this. If, if you can, if, if I might wrote, improvise. We, we I wrote, might throw. Some, we, we wrote it out phonetically, so you should be okay. Listen, I might throw in some barbs, what, some what? jests. Just, just get on with it. <sighs> Fine. You know what? I'm just gonna get on with it. Is what I'm gonna do. Oh, well, sounds like a plan. Glad you thought of it. I did. Thank mm-hmm. you. The paycheck award. By the way, four more years. Hashtag it. The Paycheck Award, the Michael Caine Jaws 4, the best of all the Jaws movies, obviously. The nominees are... The nominees are John Malkovich, Jonah Hex, Loser. Frank Langella, Brain Scan, Poop for Brains. Christopher Lee, Howling 2, Dead. Tommy Chong, Evil Bong, Rhymes, Sucks. Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis for Christmas with the Cranks, I like it. Dave Foley for Postal. Hmm, that's a really good movie. Courtney Thorne Smith, Chairman of the Board. Hottie. And Matthew McConaughey for The Dark Tower. Didn't vote for me, don't care. And the winner is Trump. Wait, what do I read? Just open, I'm the winner. Open the envelope and read it. Oh. Can you get it with your small hands? I got it with my teeth. Okay. And the winner is Frank Langella Brain Scan. I would uh, would like to thank you for this award. Uh, I was more than glad to spend my paycheck on He-Man collectible figures for my children, even though they were mostly grown by this point. Um, I still feel that's one of my uh, greatest roles 
in uh, a fantastic movie. But we're not talking about Masters of the Universe. We're talking about uh, Mind Scan. Is that what it is? I, I, I think it's Brain Scan. Okay, whatever. Brain, brain Scan. Uh, thanks for the award and uh, thanks for the money, suckers. All right, great. So I'm going to host the rest of this thing, right? No. So the next category no. Oh, hey, is... look. It's it's a liberal voting for abortion rights. <gasps> Let me at them. Okay. Oh, thank God. It was easy. Every was... year, by yeah. the way, he comes here. I, You know what? He got... <laughs> I, we got him the first year. I don't think he left. Yeah, I, I think he just hangs out here. Yeah. I mean, he's certainly not spending that time in the White House. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, Ah, uh, uh, we, we no. I was gonna say we kid, but we don't kid. No, because he's the worst. Just, <laughs> he's just the worst. Just the drizzling shits. Yeah. Well, what do we got coming up next, Nathan? We've got the worst accents. A yep, the worst accents. Worst accents award. I mean, th- I think this award uh, is pretty self-explanatory. Mm-hmm. And here to present. The award for worst accents is someone with one of the best accents, ladies and gentlemen. Another film director who we all know and love. Um, I believe it is past curfew, so his son couldn't be here, but thankfully he is here, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Rodriguez. Ah, yes, thank you. I am so honored to be here as a friend of this podcast. Someone once told me, Robert, you can't take yourself too seriously. And I said, you're right, Bruce Willis. So with that in mind, I would like to now present the nominees for the worst accents in a movie. <clears throat> First, we have a Megan Fox from Jonah Hex. Also from Jonah Hex, John Malkovich. Also from... Jo- well, didn't you guys just nominate the entire cast of uh, Jonah Hex? Mmm, fair. Wes Bentley from a Jonah Hex. Ah, Scott Miller from Pro Wrestlers versus Zombies. We have also the entire cast of Wing Commander. Okay, so you saved time with that one, but not this with the Jonah Hex. Um, don't question our logic, Robert. Fine, I'm just happy to be here uh, with friends and away from that terrible child of mine. Oof. Finally, Timmy from uh, The Dark Tower. And the winner for the worst accent goes to John Malkovich from John X. Thank you for this award. And yes, I don't sound exactly like I usually do because I am doing a bad accent. So I thank you, good day, a good night. What what accent was that supposed to be? I, I uh, a bad John Malkovich accent, I think. It sounded like Malkovich, like he wasn't putting anything on. He he rode off on a horse that he just clapped and it just appeared. <laughs> That's Malkovich for you. <laughs> Classic Malkovich. Oh, Malkovich. <sighs> what are we going to do with you? Uh, well, we're going to follow up with the next category. Mm, because this... that was a satisfying ending to that speech. Yeah, it was. The horse, the whole thing, the flourish he did. Yeah, he couldn't, couldn't have written a better ending on that one. Mm-hmm. The same could not be said about the next category. The least satisfying movie ending. And to present the award for the least satisfying movie ending is Gerard Butler 
Hello, it's me, Gerard Butler, and I'm doing my best American accent. What do you guys think? It's 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 fine, I guess. Thank you. I uh, I, I realize you guys did a movie of mine called uh, Law Abiding Citizen. Yeah, loved it. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so confrontational. Yeah. I just no, no, I've no. done a lot of bad movies. All right, uh, least satisfying uh, movie ending. So we got um, Howling Two. Your sister is aware of this movie's all over the, the map here. I I, I don't I, no, I I don't know what this is. Uh, Brain Scan, uh, uh, Christmas with the Cranks, uh, Biker Boys, and uh, Wing Commander. Okay, let's just take a look. Least satisfying movie ending. Uh, the winner is uh, Wing Commander. <laughs> yeah, I was so glad to do this. Can you you see the vein in my forehead? I know it gets a podcast. It's, it's a visual joke, but I don't care because I'm super stoked to win this award. Yeah, he just he just left, just ran off. I, I'm just glad he didn't have a stroke. I I think well he's under care of doctors, and they told him to keep it to a minimal. Oh well, that's. That's good. That's very health conscious of him. Mm. Mm. I'm 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 worried about Matthew Lillard. Mm-hmm. Why is that? I don't know. He just sounded a little. Well, actually, you know what? He sounded like he always sounds. So I'm sure he's he'll be do, fine. He's do he's doing well. He's working. He's on that show, Good Girls. So you know, yeah, he's, he's, he's you know. Wing he's, Commander Two in the works. That's that's not mm, no okay no oh, no oh, okay all right. Yeah. Wing Commander, pretty uh, unsatisfying ending because n- neither Nathan or I can remember it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah they, they, they tried to set it up like there was going to be a, a sequel. And that movie did not have that kind of um, uh, production, uh, story, um, good anything to warrant a sequel. So, yeah, no, no money was made. <laughs> no. You uh you you got the antagonist for five minutes at the end as mannequins and that's it. <laughs> mm-hmm. There was no connection between the screen and the people watching the screen whatsoever. No emotional connection. Much like our next award, Nathan. Oh, what 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 award would that be? Well, it's time for the no chemistry award. Uh-huh. Uh, so. I thought, you know, let's take this literally. Let's bring in a guest who literally knows about chemistry. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you know him from your childhood. I'm, I'm assuming the one, the only, Bill Nye, the science guy. Hey, science is wonderful, and I'm not Beekman. So, to present, I'm presenting this award for people with no chemistry, which is interesting because I love chemistry. But we're going to go, I'm going to forge forward. First nominee, Josh Brolin and Megan Fox from Jonah Hex. Annie McEnroe and Red Brown from The Howling 2. Lawrence Fishburne and Lisa Bonet from Biker Boys. Roddy, Roddy Piper and Adrian Fisher from Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies. Carrot Top and Courtney Thorne Smith, chairman of the board. And finally, in fantastically scientific brilliance, Freddie Prince Jr. and Saffron Burroughs from Wing Commander. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, who won? Let's find out together. And the winners are Carrot Top and Courtney Thorne Smith from Chairman of the Board. Wow, hey, it's really cool to win. Whoa, look at this thing. Whoa, it's a hat. Whoa, what's this? A tie for the governor? Oh, oh this award, what is this? A dildo? What am I doing? I'm crazy. Courtney, what do you think? I, I don't want to be anywhere near you. Um, Go fuck a chicken. Hey, thanks for the award. Yikes. Still no chemistry there. Nope, eh? no, nothing. Not there's at all. Like, no, there's the, the, actually the lights actually got brighter in here because they were not sucking the energy out of the room. <laughs> they were doing the opposite of that. I'm just glad he didn't try to force himself on her. Oh, I mean, we have some chickens who can attest to his, uh, his taste in uh, things. Yeah. 
which we, if you want to hear about that, listen to the episode he's, because he's, I do not want to relive yeah. finding out that information. Do you want to talk about his proclivities at all? Mm-hmm. Mm. Chairman of the board. Yeah. Great film. <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, the uh, Your Name is What Now award uh, goes to characters or actors who had characters whose characters' names were just so darn wacky and out there that uh, we couldn't resist giving them an award for just the sheer lunacy that their, well, their names are. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Your Name Is What Now Award, Poet Laureate Sylvester Stallone. Hey, uh, I just want to thank you for inviting me to this, uh, this dinner here. I'm going to roast uh, Danny DeVito. So I never worked with Danny DeVito. Uh, no, uh, that uh, was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sly, uh, Sly, Sly, Sly. Yeah, what's up? Uh, no, this is uh, this the roast for Danny DeVito. That's later this evening. It's it's in the same place. Okay. Uh, but this is, we're actually, this is for the award for Your Name Is What Now? Am I, uh, am I still getting paid in uh, bicycle grease? Absolutely. Uh, all you gotta do is read the nominees and then open the envelope. You got it, buddy. We believe in all you. Alright, I can do that. Uh, so, uh, you know, your name is what now? It's a bunch of names that uh, is kind of weird, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so from uh, Howling 2, we got uh, Stefan Crossco. I guess it's a cross is a kid crossing his name. He's Stephen Crossco. I get it. It's a funny name. Uh, from uh, Evil Bong, we get Alistair McDowell. Uh, his, yeah, his name is Alistair. It's crazy. Uh, from uh, Troop Beverly Hills, uh, we get uh, Velda uh, Plendor from Troop Beverly Hills. And from the Dark Tower, we have uh, Walter. Wait a second. That's a that's a weird. I worked with Walter Hill on a film, a couple movies. I don't think that's a weird name. Do you, you think Walter's well, a weird he, name? Well, it, he's supposed to be like an an ever present, omnipotent evil. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. I work with Walter Hill. I know yeah, what not, you mean. It, but it's not Walter Hill. Like he he's supposed to be a, a grand sorcerer, but his name is Walter. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, Walter Hill is the same thing, man. But it's 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 weird, don't you think? He should have a. a Great gray name like you know Gandalf or something like that. Well, like Jack or something. Well, yeah, well, no. Um, like Bob or like Billy. Those are weird yeah, names to me, man. They're weird, but I mean, they're. Also, I'm sorry, I, t- I took a lot of downers can, today. I'm kind of I'm kind of messed up. Just gonna get just open the the, the envelope, Sly. It's oh, okay. okay. Buddy. You can do okay. It. Okay. Appreciate so, this. Uh, yeah, so uh, the winner is Walter from the Dark Tower. See, that's weird to me. Anyway, come on down. <laughs> hey, all right, all right, all right. Man, I have got the black voodoo for you. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take some kids, put them in a chair, and I'm going to use their mental abilities to break down barriers. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, all right, all right, all right. I'm just gonna take this award here, head on back to Midworld. Even I got shot in the movie, but I'm not really dead because you know that's how things work in the Stephen King world. <laughs> oh, have fun tripping through the universe. All right, thanks. I'm back, and now the next category is for best hair. And the winner is Donald Trump. Why is no one listening? Am I am I not doing the rest of the show? Milos, get the hook. Anyway, I so, said, oh, I've got him, Mr. Nathan. We will take care of him. He, he does have nice shoes, though. I would think I will say that. I I think, Milos, I think I'm going to go after that, that Melania of his. Well, first, Borsti, help me get him to janitor closet. I get shoes, you get hot model wife. I think she's from the old country. Oh, that is fair deal. Oh, let's do it then. Come along, orange hair man. Well, thank God he got in here again. Man, that meal... That, I th- isn't that not like the, the second or third time Milos and, and Borsti have stepped up for us this year? I think they um 
I think they ought to be promoted. They're really earning their keep. I, I, we should, we should consider. Let's talk to Carol and HR mm-hmm. and see what her and Donna and payroll can do. I think those guys do deserve a pay bump. You're right. But do not put Carol and Donna in a room together no, unless you want your socks to be knocked off. No, we'll just we'll have to do that as a as a teleconference. That's for sure. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, they are a couple of characters. They sure are. Yeah. Oh, but speaking of characters, mm-hmm. um, you know those characters are pretty memorable, mm-hmm. and they stick with you because it's Carol and it's Donna. Exactly. But these characters, mm, not so much. Not so they, much. Not so much so that we had to invent names for them because we didn't remember what their names were in the movie. Right. And this is a category honoring the, our own name, our own creations. This is kind of the award where we suck our own dicks. It, it, well, we kind of do. but And, and also, yes, yeah, some of them are... We can't remember the names. Some of them... We were just like, we have to give you this name because it's begging for it. Exactly. So here to present the award is a creative genius in the world of film. A visionary for... Wait a second. Why does that... Why does that say Uwe Boll? Yeah, I'm just I'm just glad to be here, oh, and oh, you know this was a mistake. I didn't know who said Uwe Boll. Why did, why did you? We how did we were blocked? He blocked I us. I didn't show up. What, to what are rehearsal. you two talking about? Uh, uh nothing, Mister Boll. No, just, just continue. Can you just yeah get, get it on? Get, get the sensor button ready. I've got, got it ready. To bleep okay. some of this stuff. Yes. Okay. I could. okay. So yeah, I'm here with the, gives this award because these two boys would just like to sit around and suck each other's and just it's because that's what they do because that's what boys do. I mean, they they just suck each other's and they swallow each other's and they talk to each other like. So yeah, and that's that's what they do because that's who they are. And I have no other uh, things to say other than you know homophobic and slightly racist slurs. So I shall move on, Sarah, with the award. Uh, uh, these are the least memorable characters. Uh, we have a principal bow tie from the brain scan. Uh, we have uh, uh, Detective Skeletor, with whatever that is meaning, uh, was from Brain Scan as well. Uh, we also have Dixter from the uh, Brain Scan. Uh, you guys really? Are you sure you didn't like the Brain Scan? Because it sounds like you loved it. You want to suck its? So my finger's starting to hurt nathan we also have the the nikki parkour oh is that so funny with the tracers uh big rape now there's a name i can get behind i'm going to party with that guy we can have a few drinks and stuff uh from 2019 oh he's still around so he's active yeah uh, we got Giuseppe Wikipedia, whatever that that's, doesn't even make sense. Wikipedia is a website. No one has that as a last name. From Aliens vs. the Predators. If, if we have Verm Plotskin uh, from 2019 again. Uh, and also an F. Murray Pollock. You guys are just ridiculous. Right? It's clear that you're just who just want to your all day. Because uh, you're not coming up with anything that's funny at all. Uh, as we also have Detective Strickland from Masters of the Universe. And then finally, Dr. Scientist. Uh, oh, that's clever, you two. From the Deep Blue Sea. Uh, and uh, you know what? I'm just, I'm through with you two. And you can just go suck your and do your and you're doing your I'm going to read this now. Uh, it's a Detective Skeletor from the Brain Scan. I'm I'm done with the two of you. Ball out. Okay, uh, sir, d- 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 Milos Borsti. Oh yes, Mister Brendan. How could we be of service? Get this crazy man out of here. We will take him. Oh, he has terrible shoes. Oh, oh, oh! They smell, Milos. Oh, oh let's put him in dumpster. F- 
out back and set it on fire. And that's very funny. That's because he is dumpster fire. He will be dumpster fire. And his movies are dumpster fire. <laughs> that makes it two for two. Oh, Pursti and Milos winning it again. Man, those guys. They're on top of the, their game. Yeah. Oh, no. I, they're, they're definitely getting a pay bump. Uh, I, I guess I'm supposed to take my award again. Uh, that was... That was crazy. Detective Skeletor, huh? Yeah. Um, I get it, because I was a Skeletor in another movie, and I played a detective in that one. Yeah, so I'll just... I'll take the second award, I guess. Uh, anyway, uh, Langella out. Man, he sounded a little a little different to me. Did you? Uh, yeah. Maybe just like... I mean, you know, people get tired later in the night. That's a possibility. Know. That could be it. Yeah, he's probably just a little a little tired. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a classy gentleman, though. Oh, all the way. All the way. Mm-hmm. You know. It's, uh, I really liked him in that movie with Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Wait, which movie with Whoopi Goldberg? Eddie. Oh, I was like, I'm just trying to remember if he played the dinosaur in that movie with Whoopi Goldberg. Ooh, it wasn't that one. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I mean, a classy gentleman, yes. unlike the people in our next category, right? Right. Because up next, we have the biggest doofus award. Uh, and this is just, you know, well, everyone, it's pretty self-explanatory. He's just the biggest goober in the movie. Uh, and so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, presenting the award for biggest doofus is the man who helped coin the category himself, Charlie from American Ninja. Oh, man. Guys, I can't believe you pulled me away because I was going to get this chick, right? No, no you weren't. Well, I mean, like, I was talking to this chick, right? And she was so... Well, I mean, like, I was thinking about this chick that I saw from, like, across the street with my binoculars, right? That's that's considerably more plausible, yep. And, like, I almost had a date with her, dudes. Nah, let's just present the award before you start lying again. (laughs) All right, but, like, it's true. It's like... Okay, okay, Charlie. Whatever you say. Oh, you guys are too much. Uh, So what are we at here? We're doing this uh, biggest doofus thing here, eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we get uh, some nominees here. We got Michael from Brain Scan. You guys are, like, really obsessed with this Brain Scan thing. Did you guys, like, have this chick who, like, dumped you because you, did, you like, you liked Brain like, Scan too no, much or Charlie, something? Charlie, or? just, just, no. Just All right, I'm on, just like. saying, like, <laughs> Brain Scan on the mind. So you got uh, Kid from Biker Boys. You got uh, Dog from Biker Boys. That's what my chick calls me sometimes. Uh, you got uh, Porn Mustache from Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies. I don't even need to watch porn because I get laid all the time. Uh, we got uh, Mountain from Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies. We got Tommy Morrison from Rocky V. As everyone says, that's how you say your Roman numerals, dude. Uh, Maniac Marshall from Wing Commander. And last but not least, Kale from Freestyle Man. Kale chips, the best thing ever. They taste better than anything else. Except, except you know what, dude? <laughs> okay, just open Women. The Charlie, just open the envelope, buddy. Just All right, well, listen, on. the winner is... Uh, all right, well, the winner, the winner, man, it's friggin' Tommy Morrison from Rocky V. Hey, man, you think that's funny? I ain't no doofus. I, I, I'm a champ. I'm a champion. You understand okay, so, that? So, so, settle down, Tommy. You, you won. You, well, you won. I did. You're right, I won. And you got your man over there can tell me I'm a doofus. I'm not a doofus. Uh, no, no, it's, uh, um... Goofus. No, you, you, you tell me. You tell me. You get Balboa. You get him down here. I'll fight him any day. Uh, that's a fictional character. Do you want to talk to Stallone? Or... Oh, I can't stand you guys. Oh, boy. I... Oh, wow. Okay, he's he's gone. He just stormed right off, didn't he? Didn't even need to get the hook for that one. Oof. Well, he's southern. He's He's got a temper, you know. I thought you were going to say he's a southern belle. 
No. Uh, a sassy Southern Belle wrestling reference got good, it in. Oh, good job. Well, <laughs> we've said pro wrestlers several times, and I think, yeah, Rowdy Piper was, I think we were good. I mean, yeah, but, you know. It's, it's nice to get it in in an organic fashion. I get what exactly. you're saying. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, congratulations to Tommy Morrison for being the biggest doofus. He was the biggest doofus. I'm not the biggest doofus. Okay, Tommy, we're just kidding. Is he gone? He's gone. He's gone. Oh, what a doofus! What? Right? Oh, you know, uh, most of those doofuses we actually just noted. We actually just. I mean, I think doofy. Doofy. Yeah. Doofy is the plural. Yeah. Um, Most of those nominees made it through their respective movies. Yes. Alive. Mm -hmm. Um. However, Nathan, the next people were too dumb to live, even if they did make it through. Right. So, I mean, the Too Dumb to Live Award. And, I mean, this is the, 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 that's what it is. It's self-explanatory. Too Dumb to Live. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up here right now the, to present this award, uh, the pinnacle, I guess the stereotype of the... Um, <laughs> Of the Too Dumb to Live Award. Ladies and gentlemen, um, from every horror movie ever made, the, um, shall we say, uh, very sexualized woman character. Hi, guys. Hi. So glad to be here. So, like... Oh. Watch out for that light. Oh! <laughs> See, I, I'm smart enough to dodge that. Oh, it's coming back the other way. Whoop! Oh, <laughs> I can miss me. If someone could get that light, that'd be great. So I could present the award. Yeah, go ahead. Be, d- d- get it, get on it, Reggie. Okay. Screw that in. Okay. So, like, <laughs> the Too Dumb to Live Award. Uh, the nominees are everyone from Evil Bong. That's, that's, that's good. You got everybody. You're inclusive. That's, that's nice of you guys. It's really... <laughs> you guys looking good tonight. I'm just saying. Oh, hey. Well. So, <laughs> maybe. So, and then uh, next was most of the crew from Aliens vs. Predator. Oh, you guys are including everybody on that one, too. I could... I could absolutely include both of you on uh, something else a little later. <laughs> oh, really? Hey, Brendan, I think we'll play our cards right. Uh, yeah. Oh, you two. I don't even. Stop it. <laughs> uh, the terrorists from Live Free or Die. You guys, are, you're smart. You're saving time by nominating all these people instead of naming them all off. I like that. I like smart, handsome guys. You guys, are you're so smart. Cute. Oh, thank you. Me? Oh, you, you're just saying that. I bet. Oh, stop. <laughs> and then up next, we got uh, Saffron Burrows from the Deep Blue Sea. Uh, and uh, finally, oh, oh, he's a dreamy boat. Patrick Swayze, because he was terrible at sneaking up on people in Red Dawn. And the winner of the award goes, it is... (laughs) Oh my god. Oh my god, she was too dumb to live. Oh dear. I warned her about that light. Just... Get the get the envelope. We'll all right. Get, all right. What does yeah. it say, Nathan? Uh, it says uh, saffron burrows from Deep Blue Sea. Let's get Milos Borsky. Get her out of here. Hello, I'm Saffron Burrows, and I won this award. I did. You can't take it from me. Remember when I was in movies? Anyway, this is mine now, and uh, that's all I really have to say about that. Liam, I'm coming. That's good. Wait, she brought Liam Neeson with her as her plus one? That's kind of odd. I didn't yeah. know they were uh, a thing, but, you oh. know, hey, congrats to those crazy kids. Yeah, well, Irish to Irish, I guess. Yeah. yeah. that's That sounds like a, uh, a a really bad love song. Irish to Irish. Brother to, to brother. Oh, that's a... Isn't that, Next of kin. Anyhow. Yeah, it was next of kin. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so, sort of. Mo- mo- moving on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We we're come to the to two big categories here, because we're winding down here, Nathan. Yep. We're into the shank of the evening, as they'd say. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if I'm using that right. I don't know, but I'm going to I'm going to accept it because there's been so much craziness tonight. Who knows what's going on anymore, <laughs> right? Ah, uh, so up next, we have a, a fantastic category. Now there's just mm. so many uh to choose from. Uh, it was hard to put them down, uh but uh we got up coming up the worst actor category. And uh presenting our worst actor, ladies and gentlemen, the best actor, Mr. Christopher Walken. Hello. Thank you for having me here to present this award. Why am I presenting worst actor? Oh, because you're the best actor, sir. Oh, so it's like opposite. Yeah. Tomato banana. It's juxtaposition, that's right. Banana pancake. There you go. Okay, I get it. Worst actor, so let's see here. I gotta put my goggles on. From Howling 2, we got <clears throat> Red Brown. Uh, everyone from Evil Bong. That's That's mean. Everyone? Come on. Taylor Lautner from Tracers. Chris Coppola. Coppola. Coppo- yeah, Postal. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I don't know why that happened. It's 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 actually it's it's involuntary. It happens to everybody except for Donald Trump and Uwe Boll. Oh, makes sense. Kid Rock from Biker Boys. Uh, Shane Douglas from Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies. I think I saw him earlier today. Angry man. Angry young man. Carrot Top for Chairman of the Board. And finally, Freddie Prinze Jr. for Wing Commander. <clears throat> and the winner is Carrot Top for Chairman of the Board. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Man, all right, another word tonight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still back banging a chicken like super hard. I'm so super that you guys are honor me with this award. It's great. <laughs> Hold on a fucking second. Hey, dude, you're kind of pretty big. I wouldn't want you to... Ow! Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> First of all, you were here earlier tonight, punk, and you sound completely different. I'm here by invitation of that man right there, Nathan. He loves me. I, I do not know what's going on right now. He loves Shane fucking Douglas. I, uh, Brendan, uh, did you hack my email? I don't know what's going on. Shut up to both of you. I'm here to tell you that Carrot Top, you could take your fucking award. But I think Freddie Prince Jr., deserves this fucking award so you can take your little honors and golden statue and shove it where the sun don't shine but freddie prince jr you're my man shane douglas out oh uh dick flair vince mcmahon is evil etc that god that, damn it that was odd milos and borsh d are not going anywhere near him no no, they, no. they they are they have maintained their distance. They and they you know what they've they've earned their pay for tonight. That's just yeah. Yeah, he's you not, guys. He, he's not in the next award. He's not in the next category. He, no, uh, he can't uh, be. I, I, can't. He can't be right. Right. No, he can't be. Um. But what what is the next one? Ah, it's the uh, the worst actress. So yeah, right. he can't be in it. No, he can't. Well, well, Nathan, kind of following that whole trend from the last category, we had the best actor um, read the worst actor nominees. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be wonderful if we found the best, one of the best actresses of all time to read the worst actress category. So, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely, the elegant, the magnetic Mrs. Meryl Streep. So lovely to be here. I don't... I I can't 
I can't express to you how how delightful it is for you boys to have me on on your rewards. I've decided to do a bit of my Julia uh, a Julia Child's impression while I I do this is because it's one of the peaks of my acting. She so, is brilliant, Nathan. I know, right? How is so? Oh, it's a coup. It's a coup for us. It's a huge her. coup. Yeah. Big, big. Oh, you boys, I'm trying to talk up here. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, Miss Streep. You are wonderful. Continue. <laughs> You're forgiven. Okay. So, uh, for the Worst Actress Awards, uh, the nominees are Megan Fox from Jonah Hex. We have Mary Marie from Tracers. Tyler Tyler Perry. Um, he's he's a gentleman, isn't he? Fifty fifty. He's a man, right? I mean, yeah, but he he played Medea. He played a woman, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, not, it's yeah. you two. You're being inclusive. You're being woke, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> that's that's very, very, very bad. Forward thinking on you two. He's such nice boys. Uh, Revy Sky from Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies. And finally, Talia, Sh- Talia Shire. Ooh, she must have fall. Oh, it's for Rocky Five now. I I understand. I understand completely. Oh, <laughs> oh and and the winner goes to Megan Fox from Jonah Hex. Thanks. Oh, well, oh, there you go. Uh, hey. You don't have to play her off or I inter- mean, interrupt her. Yeah. Sounded uh, a lot different too. Just, just like yeah. uh, Carrot Top and Frank Langella. Are something. people doing drugs backstage? No, not at a Hollywood party. <laughs> that <laughs> would be wild. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Oh, oh, we are, we are, we are coming to the end of the night here, Nathan. We are. We're, we've got our, we've got our. Honorary award coming up here, and then moving straight on to the the big ones. The top three and the bottom three from each of us. That's right. But first, we have to we have to honor gorilla filmmaking at its <gasps> finest. Gorillas? No, no, gorilla. G U R. Like, you know, like just, oh. yeah. A, a, a like band from- of miscreants or or misfits getting together to make movies for the sake of making movies like the collateral damage gorilla not the old dogs one right right oh, yeah okay yeah. but hey you know it's it it's 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 like that but it's not those kind because these are the kind of gorillas that you'd want to hang out with because they're just a bunch of dudes and dudettes making some movies for the love of making some movies Oh, it's and so much so that we've named it after the king of all uh, guerrilla filmmaking, ladies and gentlemen, the Roger Corman Award for Excellence. And Nathan, who this year receives the Roger Corman Award for Excellence? Well, we had a couple of we had a couple of contenders, but uh, when we really kind of sussed it out, uh, considering everything that's happened in our homeland of Canada in this past year and also the fact that it incorporated a lot of recycling which is you know very environmentally minded as well as giving gigs to yeah let's say less than prominent actors but actors who are still great nonetheless actors without borders right not the main cast but you know the Extra cast and Sylvester Turkai. Yes. Uh, of course, we are talking about the October 17th friendly Evil Bong. Let's give it up. Let's give it up Let's for Evil up. Bong. Yeah. And in uh, honor of that, I say, and a one, and a two, and a three. Okay. 
<laughs> Nathan. Yeah. Nathan, I forgot. I for, I, just a second, just a second, just a second, just a second. Just a second, just a second, just a second. I forgot to call Roger Corman. <laughs> I, we, I, I, I don't, we, we don't usually have people. Uh, ex, ex, he wouldn't accept it. It's his award, man. Wait, 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 what? Yeah, you, you were supposed to call Tommy Chong, dude. Oh, man. hold on. I, what? Brad Pitt? No, Tommy <laughs> Chong, dude. Dave, man. I don't know. Dave's not here, man. Right, because you didn't call him, dude. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, just a second. Just a second. Just a second. I'm, 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 I'm going to call him right now. Hold okay. on. Okay. Hold on. Hey, can I get a pizza? <laughs> Who is this, man? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I ordered a pizza. Who, man, this isn't a pizza place, man. What is this place? It's, uh, this is the offices of Chong Glass. You're speaking to Tommy Chong, man. You you wanna you wanna come to California? I I live in California, man. Sorry, you have the wrong number, sir. Beep. <laughs> you totally got him on that. I one, get pregnant. Dude. It's good. It's good. Okay, okay, boys, drink this hot coffee. You need to get. You need to get back. You haven't even done the show. The rest of the show yet. It's just you're harsh in my buzz, dude. Oh, black coffee. What happened? Are we okay? Is this still Earth? Sick. Sick. Just a second. It's sick. Whew. All right, I'm coming. All right. I'm just coming out of it. Coming out it's of amazing it. that black coffee is just a cure for being high. Uh, that's that's not how that works, dude. <laughs> just a second, just a second. <laughs> oh, Nathan, we've come to... So we've come to the end here. We have come to the end, yes. We've come to the end. We've come to the bottom three and the top three. And what mm-hmm. this is basically, uh, very obviously, this is... In our opinions, in our individual opinions, these are the top three. We read our top three most bearable movies. I, I it, for me, uh, they were. I, I, people say guilty pleasures, but I don't feel guilty at all. Mm. Um, maybe this is the rather than guilty pleasures. Maybe what's the word I'm looking for here? Innocent pleasures. No, that sounds like a porno. That sounds yeah. That that's a website, and uh, it could get you on a list. Um, yeah. No, it's not. That was what I'm looking for. Um, I I actually would say this is um, unconventional pleasures, which also that's I think also is, a is a website. Yeah. yeah. yeah so that's also no. gets you on a list. Yeah. Let's let maybe we should take the word uh, pleasure out of there. Okay. How about unconventional fulfillment? No, still, see, everything's still, a website, Nathan. It's still kind of dicey, yeah. Okay, it's, well, let's... You know what? I'm just going to describe it. These are movies that the average person, and like I mean the most painfully average person, would think are a waste of time, but mm-hmm. we find delightful. At least in the sense that we found them the three most delightful of yes. the year. Yeah. Yes. So I think uh, maybe we go back and forth. Okay. Going from three to one? Sure. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go with my number three pick first. Okay. This is my uh, number three for the year, and it may be... uh, I don't know if it'll be so much a surprise, but uh, I don't think this was a great movie, but I thought we had a really fun guest, and I think I had a a better time watching the movie than I thought I was going to have. Okay. So the number three movie is going to be Barbed Wire. Oh, yeah. Solid pick. Yeah, mm-hmm. Casablanca in the future, <laughs> starring the trucker from Armed and Dangerous, and, yes, and the Meryl Streep esque performance from Pamela Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I will. Uh, mine's not set in the future. In fact, mine is set in an alternate reality. Uh, it'd be the eighties tastic. Red Dawn. No, oh. just love that movie. It's it's just just something about it that encapsulates my uh, uh, my 
early forays into action movies and it, it was it kind of helps that it's it kind of unofficial it's an unofficial brat pack movie it's a crazy movie oh it's crazy but it's so fun to watch <laughs> and not not just for uh our our good buddy uh <laughs> Why do I always want to say F. Murray Abraham? I don't know. I don't know. I can sort of see it. Yeah, it's Harry Dean Stanton. I think it's the three things that just throws me off. Mm-hmm. But it's fantastic, and not just for Harry Dean Stanton. Every time I hear Harry Dean Stanton's name, I just it sounds to me like someone is saying that Dean Stanton has a lot of hair. He's the Harry Dean Stanton. <laughs> Oh, or he's the Harry Dean of a university, and he's Dean Stanton. There you go. Yeah. Uh, my number two is one that I think I was a little perplexed, because this was during Listener's Choice Month, uh, and we were given this movie, and I was like, um, okay, I guess this is a movie for the show. It worked out well. Mm-hmm. But my number two movie is Steven Spielberg's Hook. Oh, that was a solid pick. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, uh, it's. I mean, it certainly has some weird things in it, but uh, some charm. That's for sure. Yeah, some charm. Yeah. Um. Uh. The hook. Uh. Captain Hook suicide stuff was a bit weird. Um, <laughs> for a kids yes. movie. For a kids movie. Yeah. As was the uh terrifying death of uh Rufio. Yes. But, yeah. Number two. Hook. Mm. But not number two when you think about it, because it was still quite good. See, it's a poop <laughs> joke. I see what you did there. Yes, and my number two is not a number two, in my opinion, but it might be in other folks's. Uh, it it actually got a lot of nominees tonight, and that would be Brain Scan. Dun dun dun. I I just think it's again it's it's one of the, it's so bonkers, and despite its kind of cop out ending, it it kind of it as I said the. Red Dawn encapsulated my early foray into action movies in the 80s. This is kind of like my, you know, what kind of got me really turned on to, mm, I don't know, teen horror movies. And I don't mean that a horror movie filled with teenagers, but just a movie that can be scary without being over the top filled with blood and guts and gore. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I really liked it. And, uh... Yeah, uh, it it is a shame. I I never got my sequel. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, and let's get to it. The number ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also, by the way, the uh, what you said, brain scan, and what was the other one again? Red Dawn. Yeah, Red Dawn. They 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 were both pretty close to this for me too. Like they didn't quite make the list, but mm-hmm. I I enjoyed watching uh, the insanity of those movies. So the number one pick for me is a movie where <laughs> I'm glad we didn't watch the following entry in the franchise, but we will, of course, one day. And that is the movie right just before the time when he kind of stopped giving a shit, Bruce Willis, Live Free or Die Hard. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the movie is bonkers. Good, it, it, but good. It, like, it's, yeah. It's, I mean, the whole... <laughs> Again, a major highlight for me is when all the cell towers are down and they are somehow accessing OnStar. <laughs> With apparently they have military technology. Apparently. Yeah. Or better than the military because the military is also down. Yes, so only OnStar will survive the apocalypse. And you know, uh <laughs> terrorists just driving around town the whole time. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Uh so my number one uh, my my favorite movie that we did the entire year. I didn't even get uh didn't even get any nominations tonight, which I thought was kind of odd. But uh, maybe that means it's because it's just such it's a legitimately good movie that none of the none of the bad awards went to anybody. But we did have a star uh, as one of the presenters, and so that of course means my number one pick from this past year was The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. Oh, oh! It's what I'm saying. It's it was a fantastical episode there. Uh, I had a really fun time talking about that movie. It'd been a while since I'd watched it, and it was it was actually pretty cool to have 
uh, Brent on as well. And also to talk about the weird trivia about uh, <laughs> the, the it, it being a hit in foreign uh, territories because other obscene comics did the voice for Andrew Dice Clay in the dubbing. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and, like, the weirdest thing ever in that movie for me was that fucking koala bear. <laughs> and they were gonna kill the fluking koala bear. Didn't they kill the koala bear? No, remember at the end on the sea cruise. Oh, yeah. They were on the boat after they hit uh, pay dirt with K dirt. <laughs> Which made no sense because you're like, the koala was in that house. <laughs> fucking love that movie. Rennie Harlan. Get I want to buy us. the books. Uh, uh, there's books. You didn't. You remember? It's based on a book. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> I thought uh, they should make the Adventures of Ford Fairlane about an actual Ford Fairlane that talks. So like Knight Rider, but with a Ford Fairlane. Yeah, and Andrew Dice Clay just hangs out with him. <laughs> oh, so he'd be, he'd be the Hasselhoff in this. <laughs> yes, yes, he would. Okay, I, I could okay. get behind that. I'd watch that. <laughs> Well, Nathan, it, we, we, we get to now the, what the folks really want to hear us dish about. Yes. The yeah. worst of the worst. The worst of the worst of the worst. The three worst films of the past year mm-hmm. that we watched. Of course, our la- previous few episodes uh, weren't inclusive in the list. I believe it went from July to the end, the, the beginning of August to the end of July. Mm-hmm. So, my number three worst one. Diff- most difficult one for me was the, uh, the winner of um, a couple of awards tonight already, and that would be the Carrot Top starring Chairman of the Board. Oh, that Just was a slog. <laughs> rotten from start to finish. <laughs> um, I think we said that Larry Miller was like the only thing attempting to do anything in that movie he worthwhile. Was, he was trying to save it, yep. Yeah, so, I mean, and, you know, Courtney Thorne-Smith, I mean, she was not a part of the problem, but she was, like, she was fine, but... Uh, but she certainly you know, wasn't part of the solution. No. But Carrot Top had his own movie. I mean, that's all you really need to know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, for me, um, this movie was fairly insufferable, uh, but not in a way that I felt hated me, uh, the way Carrot tops movie did uh but still uh frustrating and hard to follow and i was i was surprised it was a theatrical release and that of course would be freestyle oh yeah that was that was a rough one our first movie with carpeted hospitals (laughs) yes first of two (laughs) so far (laughs) Oh, it, it it really speaks to how bad the movie is that when you see the blooper reel at the end and go, you know what? If they had chose that blooper, that this would have been a much different movie and it might have been something quite special. <laughs> yeah, and even the bloops were like, they don't look super happy to be doing this movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> So yeah, freestyle. Uh yeah, that's a that's a that's a rough one. It that's is. a rough one. Yep. Well, uh my number 2 is uh probably one that you won't agree with. Okay. But I'm going to say it's stated here anyway. I don't think it won anything tonight. Um but it was a movie that uh you know, it was uh it's a bit tough to get through and uh you kind of rode my ass a little bit during this episode, Nathan. That would be Medea's Family Reunion. What? terrible what the number two worst one for me no (laughs) well yes it is because i just said it was (laughs) i had uh yeah just just uh (laughs) just didn't like it didn't like it didn't didn't care for it you know art is subjective i mean you know a lot of people don't always get you know what the that that true auteur Tyler Perry is going for when he is making his high art. Uh huh. So yeah. what's your number two? <laughs> well, I feel my number two was a pretty big number two, a yeah. huge number two actually. 
and I'm going to have to go with Tracers on this one. Oof, good choice. Yeah, just, oh my god, Nikki Parkour and, you know, the 40-year-old FBI guy banging the 20-year-old. Just, oh, yeah, I forgot about oof. that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that that weird subplot with the you know mean, but you know what? He's a nice Asian gangster. He's it's, it's all right <laughs> with the ca- with the cargo pants. Yeah, fucking yeah. just ridiculous. And I think like uh, have we done it? We did it. No, we, that was our first Taylor Lautner movie, right? I, oh, Shark Boy. Well, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah. Yeah. And our our second Taylor Lautner movie that was just like bottom of the barrel awful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I concur uh with that. That was that was a that was a tough one. Mm-hmm. Nathan, it should come as no surprise. So I think on the count of three, okay. we're gonna say our number one worst movie. Absolutely. One, two, three, postal. postal. The worst. Just the worst. <laughs> There's, the bar has been set for a yeah. while now, and yeah. I don't see anyone crossing it for the foreseeable future. Uh, I hope that's the case. And I know that is a dangerous thing to say. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not even the worst movie we've done on the podcast. It's the worst movie I think I've ever seen. It's, yeah. I, I mean. I, the, the, mo- like, the most irredeemable, like, l- so incredibly not funny. Like, it's almost like the movie is trying to be not a comedy. If that's the case, bravo. It's, it's, you remember how I had, uh, I'd said earlier about how the Carrot Top movie kind of hated its audience? Like, and I said that in, like, half jest. I say it in no jest whatsoever about Postal. I feel that movie actively hated anybody who was watching it and just like a movie that just thinks it's so clever and that's the worst part you're just watching this movie being like wink wink get it satire i can almost see uve bowl like nudging his uh his dp in the ribs while they're while they're making it just assured that uh, he is brilliant and hilarious you see i think we are really nailing it yeah <laughs> he sounds yeah. different <laughs> i know i i it's it's something in the air i Must think be. because of the the denver air oh that's right yeah that's coming into new brunswick <laughs> <laughs> well we've got that hurricane coming up but i think that's coming from florida Oh, well, not maybe... Alabama, though. It's nowhere near Alabama. <laughs> well, you know what they say. There's a little Denver in Florida. There you go, I guess. Go with it. Okay. Well, Nathan, we've come to the end of the awards show. And, um, well, uh, let's just say goodbye to our audience first. Then. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming to the third annual Manos Handouts. I've been your host, Bullwinkle J. Moose. Oh wow! That was odd. that most of his stuff we had to cut. Sorry, guys. He was a host in that he was greeting people on the way in, like shaking, yeah. He was also the hands. valet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we are backstage to wrap it up with our listeners here. Um, for reals, though, three uh, going into our well, we've just we've already begun our fourth season, yeah. I guess. Yeah. We've had three years, so uh, we just want to thank everyone for continuing to listen. Mm-hmm. And uh, especially, uh, especially the people who decided to join our Patreon page, which is awesome. Yeah. So thank you as well. Thank you to everybody for even anybody who's even ever just like listened to five minutes of an episode. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody who like, uh, like Brennan said, the, the Patreon folks, we appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, you know, it would be a lot more difficult to do this, especially now where we're doing a movie every week mm-hmm. um, with big thanks to anybody who has taken the time to check us out, to share us on any of your socials. Big, big thank you guys. Uh, it means the world to us. Uh, all any, all our guests uh, from the past year and, uh, and beyond 
Uh, yeah. You guys have all been super fun to have on. And also going to send a big thank you to, for me, for Patty, uh, for putting up with recording at, you know, midnight on Friday and then <laughs> taking up a half of an afternoon most of the time on the weekend. Uh, she's very patient and supportive. So big thanks to her as well. I should equally uh, thank Mariah for a similar similar thing as well. <laughs> also her um, giant especially, penis. Especially, what's that? Also her giant penis. And, for, well, I will thank, yes, I thank Mariah for her giant penis every day. Okay. That's actually what I do with, you know, some people pray at night. I just thank Mariah for her penis. Just bow down to it. Yeah, well, I have to. Yeah. I mean, it's sitting, it's resting on my head most of the time. <laughs> um. And I, yeah, I also wanted to, uh, yeah, like, yeah, Mariah puts up, especially, you know, I have a second podcast, so there's that, so there's even like a, like an extra, you know, uh, hour and a half to two hours of recording every, every weekend, because I record yeah. every week, uh, and every two weeks with this podcast. So yes, thank you to everyone who puts up with us for recording podcasts. It's fun. It's a lot of work. Um, so with that being said, uh, next week we will be back to our regular schedule doing movies, talking about uh, shitty movies, and we've got a doozy for you next week, so I'll give you a little hint-ski as to what's coming up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Who framed Raj... Uh, mm, not really. Ugh. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's what you get. And if anyone knows what the movie is, you'll probably get it. But I feel like a lot of people don't. So well, there's a there's a couple of possibilities there. Yeah, yeah. that's true. With that being said, now mm -hmm. would uh, Montrose like to come in and say a few things? Yes, I'll get him right now. Just one second. Oh, it sounded like he took over right away there. No, me. so no, I, I was like, yeah, I almost forgot. That's why I was like, oh yes. Oh okay, I'll, I'll get him. Uh, just a second. He's he's <laughs> he's he's partying. Uh, Oh, just Back. sing, just sing, just sing. Yes. Hello! It's, it's, it's a good friend, Montrose Monkington III, having having a splashing time backstage here with the, the, the Manos handouts. You, you you two really know how to how to throw a party. You're um, a real Richard Burton, Montrose. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I take that with as as a compliment. You know, you know, there was a child that looked like Richard Burton in a camera movie once. It's just, he's fantastic. But I I I'm Montrose Monkington the third, and and I feel that you you especially you you're so cute. You should check out my YouTube channel, uh, Montrose Monkington TV. Uh, I talk about wrestling like like a lot. Like it's 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 yeah. I, I get to the point uh, where I should be going to meetings or something. Uh, also, uh, you you can be friends with me on Facebook if you want to be. I mean, I want to be your friend. You could be my friend on Facebook. Uh, Montrose Monkington the Third Esquire and friends. Uh, and, and and finally, if you want to send me a little tweet. Uh, I will try to get back to you despite my lack of opposable thumbs uh, on the Twitter at Montrose the Third. That's the number three R D. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, Megan Fox has has promised to show me something I'm never going to forget. Thank you. More later. Oh, Megan, just wait. Oh dear. Sounds like someone's getting lucky tonight. Yeah, all right. Good. I mean, if Montrose is older than Megan Fox, he's definitely getting laid. Well, I, it, like in like chimp years, I, yeah, I don't I, know. I'm not sure How's, how that works. I'm not. I'm not sure how that works. He'll. He'll. He. I. If I know Montrose, he'll. Uh, he'll figure something out. He's getting some fox tail tonight. There you go. Oh, it's gonna oh. give her that banana cream. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't have that beep button ready on that one. Well, here, it wasn't as bad as what Uve was saying. So. This is true. It yeah. was not hateful. No. You can also find us on all the podcatcher platforms. We are on Podbean, 
Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, all that good stuff. And actually, you know what? While I've got this, uh, while I've got this kind of rolling right now, I might as well just uh, say that we're also on Podcoin, and Podcoin is an app that pays you to listen to podcasts. So all you got to do is search for our podcast on that app or any other podcast, and you get paid Podcoins uh, based on the minutes you listen. And if you sign up with our free with our promo code uh, WWTTPD. That's the what were they thinking police department. Right. Uh, you'll receive 300 bonus pod coins just for signing up. So you can get that a- app on your iOS or Android device. And uh, start listening to podcasts. Start getting paid right away. You can get gift cards. You can donate to charity. Lots of great stuff. So make sure you head to uh, your your whatever app you use to download apps and get that pod coin today. Uh, so that being said, <laughs> I will move on now. So you can also find us on the social medias. We're on Facebook. Just search for What Were They Thinking? We also have a Facebook group, What Were They Thinking Interactive, which you can join and chat to other people on there as well. We are also on Twitter at, and Instagram at WWTT Podcast. And uh, I think that, oh, you can also find some of our stuff on T Public. Just search for us on there or Redbubble. And we're also on Patreon. Head to patreon.com slash podcast if you'd like to donate some money every month to us. And you can receive uh, some cool benefits in return. Pick the movie. You could be a guest. You can uh, advertise on the show. Bonus episodes. All kinds of great stuff. And uh, you could donate any, any amount you'd like. So that, that all being said, Nathan, we got all the housework taken care of. Yep. So I just want to say, moving forward... Year four, this podcast, what is it called? What were they thinking? Oh, wait, that's the Andy Griffith theme. <laughs> <laughs>